pictures on them to sort of help explain things more. Like Aiden had lots of pictures on his. And the and the pictures were effective. Yeah, the pictures. Sort of How so? Um, the pictures helped you understand more. If it, the writing confused you, it sort of showed some showed it, like showed what they're trying to explain. Sounds great. Yeah. Um, on on Kate does. I just thought it was really good because he had like one whole page of just details and examples. That really just surprised me a lot. Um. It was. I think it was really good, not just of the um, of how the length, but the, I said I didn't. I I didn't knew, even know half the details that he that he knew. And were these bullet points you saw? Yes. And so the effectiveness of a bullet point is each one is a detail, can be a detail. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that I really liked Aiden's because. He did a lot of diagrams and drawings, and those were really eff more effective because it helped us visualize more what he was talking about, and it helped us understand what he meant. And it's something you can do, too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, I thought Fatima's was really good because it had a lot of pages and depth and detail, and all of it related to her life at home and um yeah i think i think i made a note of that too that she connected everything to her life but very personal if i remember right it was very personal her paper um i thought aiden's was good because like what she said he said on one of his diagrams if you don't understand what i said above you can look at the pictures like and it and then there was like a little description underneath the pictures which made which helped us more to understand about what he was talking about. And I think a lot of you think in pictures, so it's a it's a really interesting technique. If it works for you, then you should try it. Fatima? Um, I think that the papers were all written the way they understood it and the question and they um, like Aiden's, he added picture a lot of, I mean, he added pictures, and that was easier to understand it. And Angelina's, she added a lot of detail, and examples really help you understand it more. Great. Read again. Um, I think a quality that most of these paper had most of these papers have that makes it unique and like a four or five over grade level in general um you have to be able to express yourself in many different ways through diagrams and pictures and comparisons and comics and all those things support your real ideas and your details and your examples and that really helps you make your paper one and i think you're a model of that you you can combine ways I think that maybe for Angelina, words are the way her, her mind works. For Marin, it's definitely a blend of things. I think if she wrote just words, it would not be as strong as these, all these images as well, too. So that all of you can do this. It's, you're welcome to. I think this is a part of the summative assessment, express everything you know. Yeah. Um, I agree with Aiden. Um, the drawings on... His ancestors, I noticed that they had drawings that kind of expressed a lot of um, that question or a lot of their thoughts. Um, and like, I liked how Seth um, drew two like brains of chimpanzees from different areas and then com compared them. The, the drawings weren't extra. The drawings were really important to answering the questions. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. They were. They were really had meaning. They weren't just drawings. Right? Um, I thought that Angelina's the toy of the house was really interesting because oh, it was also really detailed because like she told us everything she had in her room and then her bathroom. And she said, my wall is pink because I love pink. And, yeah, so 
Great. Um, I really thought that Fatima's and Mary's were really good because Fatima did um, um, a really um, lots of detail, and I really enjoyed. Um, she gave detail about what she does in her religion, and she talked about the type of furniture in her house. And we have normal American furniture, but we do a lot of things. It was very personal. And I also like Barron's because she used a mix of pictures, and um, it was really interesting. Thank you, Sorry. Um, she used a mix of pictures on, in her writing, and um, so I, mean, I wouldn't really understand what her writing said, but then the pictures would really help I get finally get the, what the answer was. Kata? Um, so, I thought that Marin's and Aiden's were good, because they were different, because um, Aiden's was mostly writing, but it had pictures, but Marin's was mostly pictures, but it had writing, so... I thought that was interesting, and I also thought that um, all the papers, excluding mine, had had better handwriting. Okay. Good. Oh, sorry. What? Um, I thought Aiden's was really well done because it. <coughs> Like had um, a ton of drawings, and I liked how on the side he did like different kinds of fonts and stuff. Like on the first page, he had like something, and then he did it like the <clears throat> the twentieth anniversary fox with the shadows on it. And I also enjoyed it. And I also enjoyed this picture. It was fun to see, wasn't it? It was fun to look at. Thanks. Um, another reason I like Aiden's and then I also like Angelina's. Um, I also like Aiden's because it was funny at the end for the question of do you think that chimpanzees have culture? He made the little TV show comic, but it really did explain it a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, I also like Angelina's because she put a lot of detail and we could like with all her detail at least i could really really visualize like her house and how it was and how she arranged things great Parker? i really liked kato's and angelina's um because they were they were really descriptive and they both uh, i just thought it was different how their writing was. I mean, not like yeah. handwriting wise, mm -hmm. but like Angelina, she only paragraphed when she was done with her entire statement. <laughs> and Kata kept paragraphing like, it was kind of a lot. Like he kind of went overboard. And I just thought both of them were really detailed and it was pretty good. And Marco, your table for question two was outstanding. What question two? Was the, asking the questions. The table you built was just, there was nothing else like that. That was so detailed. That was really extraordinary, That that what you did there. I thought it was really uh, uniquely detailed. Last one. I didn't have time to read Aiden's, but I saw the front. And what I saw looked really, really cool and really made it fun to read. Like, it, sometimes when there's pictures, it looks kind of messy and you don't know where to go first. Yeah. And you kind of get messed up and don't understand. But Aiden's was all organized with pictures and words. 